Luke Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. I'll tell you this, I am missing the fucking jackhammering next to the bedroom window in India. Because there's nothing that gets under your skin and just into the fucking marrow of your bones more than a baby fucking crying. It's not even so much crying, it's a mixture of crying and whining. Like, uh, 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 with some screaming and some full-blown crying in the middle. My kid, my little daughter, has not stopped crying for a fucking week. She has had a lot to deal with, I'll give her that. She's teething, she's jet-lagged, she's on a new time zone, she's out of her routine that she had for a year, she's around strangers, she's in a new environment, everything's fucking new. Old people have gone, new people have come in, she's in childcare, I'm just throwing her in childcare. I'm just walking in, I fucking drop her behind the gate, she starts screaming, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm out, I'm out, I'm tapping out, your crying is like a fucking rear naked choke to me. That has been the only respite. She started childcare about three days ago, and both days she's been there for like four or five hours before the fucking ladies at childcare are like, hey... Can you come pick up your kid? She's fucking annoying. (laughs) I'm like, please, can you just keep her for a few more hours? Even today. Today was like borderline. Like you're not meant to send sick kids into childcare because it infects the other little rats. But she was borderline today. My wife was like, hey, is this a rash? And I was like, that's not a fucking rash. That's like pigmentation that's like just a different color skin like when you come out of a shower or something my wife's like she didn't just come out of the shower or anything i'm like don't worry about it it's just you know we've got to fucking take her to childcare. well i can't fucking d- deal with the crying for another fucking eight hours just give me a break so i took her to childcare, and i honestly didn't see a rash i just saw like Not even a dot or two. Like, it was a different color skin. I would not have even have picked up on it if someone didn't fucking point it out to me. I wasn't looking, though. I wasn't looking hard. I was just trying to get her fucking dressed and out the door. So I took her into childcare, dropped her off, and it was my son's first day at school today. And we were a little bit worried about that because he fucking hated school in India. We sent our other child, the one without the rash... (laughs) In India, we sent him to school in the middle of COVID-19 and he had to sit at a desk all day and do like quadratic equations. He wasn't allowed to play. He just had to eat his lunch at the desk. He had to do everything at the fucking desk. Can I go to the toilet? No. There's a bottle under the fucking desk. We're in a pandemic here. Why are your parents even sending you to school? There's only four other kids in the class and three of them are orphans and you. Your parents are really trying to get you the fuck out of the house, aren't they? So he didn't enjoy that experience. So he was a little bit fucking hesitant. He was like, I'm not that keen on school. I'm like, well, you better get used to it because you go on every fucking day. From here on in for the next 18 years. Is it 18 years? No, it can't be 18 years. Year 1 to 12. For the next 11 years, 12 years... You're there every day besides Saturday and Sunday. And don't worry, mate, because Saturday and Sunday is going to be booked up full of shit too. So after I dropped off the Rashi baby, went down to the fucking primary school and I hadn't really had a look around, but this fucking primary school is fucking gold. I liked it. It was nice. It was fucking shady. There was trees around. The ratio of white kids to Asians was pretty good. Even though my kid's not white, you still want to have a good mix of whiteies and Asians. I just saw a photo of my kid's kindergarten from two years back in Melbourne. And there's one brown kid, which is my son. And there's fucking 14 Asian kids and one white kid. I'm like, that's not diversity. That's just fucking Asians. So when I was dropping my kid off to his classroom, we had to go through like the play area and the basketball courts and... I was like, there's quite a lot of blonde head kids here. That's pretty good. There was also like some Asians. There was a couple of fucking Muslims there. There was a good blend. I was happy with the school. The teacher came and met me. I had a chat to the teacher. I was like, man, I could become like a fucking school dad. 
And then I remembered this podcast. I'm like, if any cunt here fucking stumbles on this podcast, I am fucked. Because I can't stop trashing the other kids and parents. People wouldn't respect me anymore if I did. They would say, you're a fucking pussy boil. Why aren't you trashing the fuck out of the little young kids at your fucking son's school and their retarded parents anymore? Literally no one's saying that except for me. That's just in my head. I'm like, if I don't continue trashing my son's friends and their parents for the entirety of his schooling life, that will just make it look like I was picking on like four or five year olds. I don't want to be seen as someone that only bullies like four and five year olds. I want to be seen as someone that just trashes everyone across the board. Four year olds, five year olds, dodgy looking grandmas dropping their kids off at school. Everyone should get a piece of it. That's why this podcast needs to stay fucking underground. Still share it, but just don't share it anywhere in the inner west of Sydney. (laughs) Anyway, what the fuck was I on about? Yeah, drop my kid off. Oh, yeah. So we're dropping my kid off at his first day of school. And then we get a call from the childcare saying, Hey, you know that baby you dropped off like fucking 15 minutes ago? Yeah, it's got a rash. I'm like, what? A rash? That I are, are you sure? I nah. Isn't it just pigmentation? Isn't it just the like you know when you're in like the freezer section of a supermarket and it gets a little bit cold and your white skin it goes a little bit per- Isn't isn't it more like that? They're like, no, it looks like a full blown fucking rash. Can you come pick your kid up because it could infect the other rats? And I'm just like, fucking hell. There goes a good fucking day. That was going to be the first fucking day that my son wasn't going to be at home, that my daughter was going to be at childcare. It was going to be the first day of fucking peace in a week. Over a week, like 10 days. Since like a couple of days before I left fucking India, it's just been flat out. I don't know if you can hear her crying in the background, but she is fucking howling in the background. So we had to take her to the doctor to check out this fucking rash. After a couple of hours, it did start looking like a rash. So we took her to the doctor and we had this Greek doctor. Greek doctors, there's something about Greeks that just calm you down. Like he looked like he'd seen a lot of shit, this Greek cunt. And there was a lot of old Greeks in the waiting room as well. I'm like, this guy's a trusted man of the community. So we went in. He's like, yeah, that rash comes up at the end of a viral infection. She must have had a viral infection and she's just coming to the end of it. I'm like, fucking hell, this girl's been through a bit of shit. Teething, viral infection, rash, negligent dad, like heaps of shit. (laughs) Fuck, she is howling in the background. It goes through fucking cement walls that cry. It's like evolutionary, I think. I think you can pick up babies' cries from, like, miles away. Like dogs barking. Like, evolutionarily, we've developed that fucking, like, just extra hearing sense for that particular sound. Because fucking, I can hear it down the street. I can still hear it when I drop her off at childcare and I'm in the car. It's fucking driving us insane. So I hope she gets better real soon. But I'm fucking right at the end of my tether. My nerves are jangled. I'm fucked. I'm eating like shit. It's just fucking unrelenting. If any of you are thinking about having kids and you're like on the fence, I'll send you a nine hour recording of my fucking daughter just screaming. Just play that for a few days, full blast, and then break the volume button on your fucking earphones or wherever you listen to it, but still try and turn it down, even though there's no way you can turn it down. That's what it's like. And if you can't handle that, then fucking forget about it. Anyway, I better get back out there because I fucking think my wife's losing her mind as well. And thank God for this podcast. At least I have a little bit of respite. All right, I got to fucking go back out there. If you're enjoying the podcast, fucking whatever, I'll see you the fuck later.